Hey everyone, it's Joe Tompkins for Lendesk and Finmill. Today I want to talk to you about building scenarios inside of Finmill for your clients for different solutions. So let's go ahead and jump into a deal. I'm going to go into my Maria Turner deal here. So let's say you have a couple different options with different lenders. Maybe it's different rental offset, different interest rates, whatever the scenario is with a different lender. You want to be able to prepare them so they're ready to go. Prepare them so you can present them to a client. What you're going to do, so let's do the first scenario. And I'm going to do a scenario for, for First National. Let's say I'm going to do 5.04. It's fixed rate, first mortgage, compounded semi-annually. I go through and I set it up, include the premium, no payment frequency monthly, and it's a closed term. I save changes. Perfect. Adjusted the interest rate for qualifying automatically for me. Now I'm going to go to my subject property. I'm going to make sure I have this entered in here. Let's put the subject property in. And let's pretend we've entered everything correctly. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to submit this deal. But I already have a draft started for Strive. That was my first scenario. What I want to do now is I want to go ahead and I'm going to search from the drop down for First National Prime. Choose a lender. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through. So whatever I put here in the payment details, the qualifying details, whatever is in here is what has started this submission scenario for First National. So I come to here. I can see my GDS and TDS. If I need to edit the details, I can. I can drop in here and add a percentage, do 50%. Looks good. Don't include annual taxes, I forgot. Let's put that back in. Let's put the heat in there. Save changes. It's adjusted the GDS and TDS. However, my payment details that I entered here, that is what has fed this section. So this is my last touch of this scenario for First National. So I brought in the first mortgage of 600,000. No, it's not with the lender. 504 fixed monthly. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So there's scenario number one. I now go back to the submit section and maybe I want to have another scenario for, let's say, MCAP. So I'll go to my calculator and I say I found, you know, 4.99 fixed at MCAP. Save that. Now I come down to here and I click on MCAP. So now the GDS and TDS comes through. If I want to edit the GDS and TDS, maybe MCAP has a different offset. So I click edit and I'll do a 80%. And then mortgage information and request details. So the 4.99 has come through from First National. So then I can go ahead and go back to the submit. So now I have my MCAP draft, I have my First National draft, and I have my Strive draft. These are all different scenarios for different lenders. You can open them up. And you can present these to a client and talk about the different payments, what they would be for that lender. Or at the very least, they're all set up and ready to go for you to choose one to submit to your favorite lender. There we go. Thanks for watching.